so today we are doing a look inspired by another villain. This time it is the villain of the superhero Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web, something, something. La da da, la da da. You know what that makes me think of? And I'm sure you're all singing it now too. Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Okay, so the villain of Spider-Man, there are plenty, but the one I am choosing to do is Venom. Venom is sort of the anti-Spider-Man. Venom is like this thing that comes down from like an asteroid or Mars or something and takes over Spider-Man and makes him like, like opposite of Spider-Man. And then in the movie, he like takes over Eddie Brock, which is like the nemesis of... Peter Parker, sort of, and yeah, enough said. Anyway, when I think of Venom, I think of all of like the inky black stuff that comes out of Venom. So we're gonna do the sort of like smoky eye with like runny, inky stuff where it's like looks like it's just like coming out of your eye. So this, again, is probably not going to be something you wear all the time, but really, that's my favorite kind of makeup to do. And I'm sorry, but you can take any of these looks and tweak them and make them wearable. You know, just don't put all the extra on. Um, but I really love editorial looks. That's the kind of makeup that I want to do. Um, so that's the kind of makeup that I do do. I said do do. Okay. I'm going to start out by applying MAC Cream Color Base in Luna. It's the white one. And we're just going to apply this to the inner corner. And right below the brow bone. So inner to brow. Now I'm going to use the Shade Stick in Shark Skin, which is the black one. And that's going to go... on my lid and down below. And try to blend together a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to apply, um, this is actually called Velvet Lady, it's from the uh, Antiquities collection from, not this last holiday collection, but the one before from MAC, but it is a lot like um, Black Tide, I think, or Carmen. One of the ones that has, it's a black with like the glitter in it. So I'm going to apply this onto my lid. I'm using the 224 because I don't want... Uh, a lot of color. I want it to be able to blend easily. So it's going to be a really simple smoky eye. I'm going to take the Beauty from the Earth color in Addicted, which is red. This is just to add um, some more color to the look because mainly it's just going to be a black and white look. Um, and it also kind of plays into the Spider-Man theme because Spider-Man's costume is mainly red. So I'm just taking a little bit on my 224 brush and I'm just going to go right above and mixed into the black so it just has like a little bit of red. We are going to apply the white. Venom is black and white, basically. So I'm going to take Gesso. <laughs> Apparently I missed pronounced it last time and people freaked out so I'm taking gesso which is the um, just bright matte true white color from MAC I'm gonna apply that right here under my brow corner and blend up so, now comes the venom part of this. 
and I'm going to use a gel liner. I'm going to use um, a black gel liner from Beauty from the Earth, actually. So they come in these little packages. I just got these the other day. Wanted to try them out. Looks like this. It's like a MAC fluid line, but it's a gel liner. So I'm going to take my my um, liner brush that I always really like to use for gel liners, it, which is the Urban Decay Wonder Brush. And then I'm also going to take one of these fine tipped brushes, like this one, and I'm going to use this one too. So first thing I'm going to do is actually line my eyes though with my normal brush. Thing about gel liners, you do not want to get them warm because then they will kind of be a little melty. And mine was right next to a candle warmer, so it's a little warm. It when it cools down, it'll go back to being a gel, but if it doesn't work right, that's why. Oh, it it works fine. We take our handy dandy brush like this, coat it with our fluid line, get off the excess so that we have a nice point, and we start making our venom marks. He is so hot. Mac and Sue 40, your boyfriend's on TV. Can you see him? Where is he? There he is. Just a little bit of gloss. This is the Kat Von D gloss in Saint. It's clear. Just applying a little bit. Now I'm going to take my shade stick in shark skin, and that's going to go just in the inner part of my lip here. We've been applying our venom up here, and we're going to spread the venom out from our lip now. Okay guys, I know you might think it looks a little zombie, but it also looks a little venomy. So this is my venom. Spider-Man transforming into venom. I'm going to finish it up by, do by filling in my eyebrows. Okay guys, I hope you like it enough and it doesn't scare you too much. Um, I'm going to do a version without the lips here, and we'll see how that turns out too. But here's my first version. Okay, my second version here, I'm going to be using the uh, L'Oreal Color Riche in True Red. So we're apply just our normal lipstick. Okay, so Venom number two, hope you like these. Okay, so since I get hella comments about, oh my god, that looks really cool, but I bet it took so long to take off, I want to show you that really, this is not hard. Makeup removal is not hard. I got these makeup wipes. These are Walmart brand, they're EK or Equate or whatever. They come in this little pop-up thing for like five bucks. You just pop one out, take out a, a 
a white thing. And look, oh my god, no more. There you go, on, off. And that took like a minute, <laughs> really easy. John Mayer just beat Jason Mraz for the best male pop vocal. I love John Mayer, but I'm kind of sad about this. I love Jason Mraz more. The only thing better than hairspray, that's me. He's Corny Collins, the only thing better than hairspray, oh, that's me. <laughs> Why is that in my head? I don't know.